Hello art fam, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and it's hashtag uh, summer prompts, hashtag fireworks. You guys, we're almost through the summer and we have four more, if I'm not mistaken, four more prompts. So be sure to have fun and enjoy this because summer's almost over, but it never ends if you remember it, right? And you prepare yourself for the winter. So let's get as many fireworks uh, in our pockets that doesn't make sense but you know what i'm saying winter's coming let's have fun then too um i have some things to share with you uh but before remember to like subscribe send me good vibes share this with a friend um and everything will be peachy um i have an unboxing i have the august uh collage kit and i just i i need to share it with you because um it's really beautiful so this is what it is. Okay, if, if you're not a member, if you don't have a collage kit, uh, a collage kit is something that came out of the pandemic. So I've been preparing myself for the pandemic all of my life, you guys. I, I really had. Um, I'd been hoarding things. I'd been collecting things. I'd always been really zen. And I was always about safety and safe spaces. And I always, you know, I, I always did this. And, and, you know, it was good. I had a community, but not like after the pandemic. I was literally being cultured to be like, okay, when the pandemic hits, do your thing. And it happened and I did my thing and the community came and I was able to serve, really, and, and share a safe space through collage. So having said that, each collage kit, and this is the August kit, uh, is, is a little self-contained studio for you to collage and explore. It's a, literally a safe space filled with things that move me, that inspire me, that I know will inspire you too. Um, and in many ways, it's propaganda. I'm not gonna lie, it's propaganda. Just like we're being programmed when we turn on the TV, I'm doing the same thing. You are too. We're all, we're all on a program. We're little computers really with flesh. Uh, but I'm being very deliberate with my propaganda. You will get things in my kits, in the words I say, that will hopefully, and I know it will work, uh, program you to see the light, right? Just like people can keep you in fear and, and manipulate you, I, I intend to do the opposite. I intend to give you the light so that you have the flame in your hand and can go create light everywhere you go. Woo, we just went wooey over there. Uh, but that's who I am and that's probably who you are if you're still watching. So let me share with you this collage kit. So it's the August collage kit 2023. And um, this is a collage that I made. And I usually have a, my collage where uh, graces the covers, which is a way that I create an opportunity for myself to share my work with the world, right? With my community. Every once in a while, I extend this to our members uh, through open calls. And we've had some really great art uh, from Matt and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry, um, three different people. Uh, so we're gonna do this again before the end of the year, so stay tuned. Uh, this is an interesting one because it has to do with um, repurposing. So we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so you get it, and this is what I say, right? So when you get your collage kit, or even when you're about to start making art or collaging, you know, clear the space, make room for yourself in the kitchen table, in your studio, in the bathroom floor, wherever you can get at least 15 minutes to an hour to just kind of hang out with yourself and really be honest with your reactions, right? Because sometimes we'll be looking at a magazine and there's like maybe a person we're attracted to and we're like, oh, but we feel stupid doing that in front of people and we're just like, oh, that's pretty. Uh, so give yourself that space to be absolutely honest with your responses with yourself, right? So that's what I want you to do. Create the space, you know, light some incense. I always do that. Um, and see what jumps out at you. So once you've done that, this is what I like to do. So I always forget to tell people this, but behind this is a prompt. Prompt included behind this label. So this month's prompt is really exciting. Um, every month we all get a collective image. So that means that you get this one image that you are invited to create a collage around, with, or whatever you want. And in many ways, we're kind of creating a alternate universe for, for all of 
from all of us, right? So these are some of the past ones. You might recognize Free to the Pigeon. You might recognize this back, this horn, this house, these cats. Um, and this month, it is a phone. And this is really cool because collage is a gateway, right? Just like everything, collage is a gateway that opens doors to other things, right? Uh, this is just a little plastic bag, but it opens. It can be the beginning of many conversations about sustainability, about how this changes when it's heated, how this can be uh, mimic glass. I mean, it's endless, right? It's endless. So collage is very much the beginning of conversation that we're going to have. When I saw this, the first thing that came to mind was a smoking gun, right? When you see a phone, you automatically think of who's on the other end. Who can I call? Who's going to call me? Right? So again, all these, all these possibilities. Uh, and this is what art and creativity is all about. So with this, I'm asking my members, and I'll ask you to do the same thing if you want, to revisit an old collage. This is an old collage that I had, and then I added the phone, just, just placed it somewhere in the image, and asked myself, how does the story change now, right? How does this little object impact the narrative? So this, this was already a pretty intense image, right? She's reading a letter and you're already wondering, what is she reading and why is she looking away? Why is she looking over her shoulder? What's the information? Add the element of the phone and you're saying, oh, is she gonna gossip? Is she gonna tell on someone? Is she gonna get someone out of prison because she found out the truth? Or is she gonna run away, right? Now, imagine if I put a pug there. Like, what what's the difference, right? Like, is that her co-conspirator? Co I mean, Listen, we can go on forever. So play around with that. That's a really fun idea to do. Take an old collage and add one new element and see how it changes. It might completely ruin it or it might make it into a masterpiece, right? Stay open about it. Um, and then the other uh, prompt has a little to do with something that we threw in last minute. Actually, it isn't last minute. I, I planned it quite a bit. Um, and this is really special. Every once in a while, I get really inspired and try to fit whatever I can into this. Um, I fit candles, keys, uh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, and this time is no different. Look what we put in. A box. I'm sending my members a box. Why? Well, because I really believe that, um, I really believe in bottling the energy. Yeah. I really believe that it's kind of like jelly. We have to make preserves for the winter, right? Take the fruit that's really great and juicy right now and save some for the winter. So this is what I'm giving you. I'm giving you this beautiful box that has a very minimal assembly. Look at that. You just open it up. And there you have your container. And what I want you to do is I want you to preserve some of summer. I want you to create a diorama to keep in your studio, to keep with you. And in the winter, you'll remember how fabulous you were this summer or how fabulous you're gonna be next summer. But all of that fabulousness will be here ready waiting for you, right? So this is what we're gonna work on today for fireworks. I'm gonna put some of my fireworks into this box. Isn't this amazing? Uh, I, I saw it and I'm like, that needs to go into the kits. Okay, so what else do we have? So I always have circles, right? And these are stickers. And like I said, it's a story. I'm telling a story very much with this kit and, and, and it, they're all little smoking guns, if you will. Uh, these are stickers. You always get the diamonds. You know what those means by now. And if you don't, use your imagination. Opulence, abundance, joy. Because as artists, we make, we can make money, you guys. Like, we don't, we can just, we make value. All right, so that's always with you. Um, and check this out. I mean, I, we went crazy. These are mirrors. I'm sending you mirrors, little mirrors. Now, you, I think I have three or more. So if you run right now and go to the website, I think you can buy this if you're not a member. But I only have like two more left, so go for it. Uh, and these are uh, just reflective. I think it'd be really cool to go inside the diorama. This is a staple. You'll always get the double-sided uh, adhesive squares. Uh, 3M, you can get them at Target. Uh, let me get a sip. You got your coffee? 
And this is part of it actually, right? Get yourself a nice coffee, a tea, whatever you drink, and um, just chill out for a second, right? Look at that, like him, chill out like him. Yeah, get some flowers. Oh, I love this guy actually. Okay, so again, always start making your piles of the things that move you. This guy is like a super cool dandy, love him. Um, we got some beautiful, this is from a book called Jewish Days, and I just love these paintings. Uh, they're so vibrant, right? Uh, okay, so we have that. We have a motorcycle. Check that. I mean, what? Look at that. That's neat. We always throw in some different language or text to create pattern, right? Now, one thing that I do, um, that I've done all my life actually, is I don't go into the details. I just see it and, and kind of let the energy tell me. And I think this is beautiful. I don't want to know where it's from. I don't know what it says. I don't want to know. I just want to use it to make something nice, right? Or something beautiful on my end. Look at this. Have you ever seen a more vibrant black? This is, I hope you can see this. Um, it's glitter paper and it's black. It's like the universe. Mm, yes, I want that. Uh, this is from a beautiful book of, uh, of people on motorcycles and carrying things. Isn't that great? I think it was Vietnam, perhaps? Beautiful. Animals, animals, a camel. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, I want my camel. Um, and then this, so I've had this book for a while, but I just, I thought it was kind of grotesque, but we need balance, right? If I'm gonna give you all this happiness and, and, and flowery pink, we also need some balance, right? Um, so I'm sending you an esophagus, I don't know, or, or, or a small intestine, a liver, a stomach, I don't know, but it, it makes it there. Um, grody. But I know some of you are into that. Uh, actually, I had a conversation recently. Someone was like, wow, you're always so positive and happy. Um, and, uh, and I am, but it's also because I'm in balance, right? Because I and this sounds weird every time I say it because I don't give an explanation, but because I come from such a dark background, because I come from violence, I am actively contracting that. So my role that I've taken is as peacemaker, as space for, for breathing, for healing, right? Uh, and that's not your job you don't have to be a, a pacifist uh you'll know right that that's i think that's what it is when you align yourself you know what your role is sometimes you are meant to be a warrior sometimes you're meant to be a peacemaker sometimes you're meant to be none of that so the more you align yourself in it like i said in my last video i really think that when you create art you create this space you can really align yourself and you find out what exactly it is your role is right but no pressure no pressure uh, listen, secretly, secretly, I love Disney. If I could, I would work for the mouse and just get paid and like, and go to Disneyland every day. But that's not my role. But Mickey, if you're watching, um, look how fun, right? Uh, she's cool. We always throw in some fashion. Fashion's cool. I mean, look at this. What a beautiful image. So many stories right here, right? Like, look at the birds. Is she a witch? Is she, what is she doing? God. Um flowers you know i'm obsessed with gems and crystals and jewels so we always send you some of this beautiful look at that it looks like an alien i love it we got some flowers yes thank you this is really special I, we kind of went out all out on this you guys um so i went to a marche opus uh to a flea market here in the city and I was able to score a album of postcards that one person had collected. So these are all for the same person and they were addressed to them. And I thought it was so beautiful, right? Like, if you think for a second, you know, what happens to my stuff after I die? Who cares? But um, how nice that someone would buy it and send it out to their friends and members. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I thought this was really beautiful. Look at the penmanship. I can't write like that to save my life. So I can really appreciate this. I, there's a stamp. So everybody gets one of these. And I'm pretty sure I was able to get everyone to have some writing. So this is really beautiful. Definitely going to use this. Um, and uh, that's it. This is like 
from newsprint. Look how beautiful that is, right? And then you always get this. This is your substrate. So if you have nothing to collage on, you can collage on this. This can be your canvas, your substrate. And then when you're done, you can put everything back in here, protect your collage and put it away. The next time you have a second, take everything out, add more things from your magazine collection and, um, and see what happens. All right. That was a mouthful. So that is the collage kit. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I hope you join us because when you do become a member, you get access to our members hangout. We just had one last week and if you were there, you know how special it was. Um, I received a lot of love and we all just shared and, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, purpose. Okay, so let's play with this box. So hashtag fireworks. Um, you can't contain fireworks, can you? Uh, so I'm just gonna play with this. I'm gonna see how logistically this will work. So like I said, I am a complete, completely not interested in numbers so I, I would tell you measure this and cut it out I guess I'll try doing this but look at that already I just put that postcard yeah I ain't measuring anything listen <laughs> I'm not going against my will but look at that already I just put that in there I hope you can see it I know the sun's a little weird right now okay so this is exactly what I'm gonna do you guys I'm just gonna frame this beautiful postcard and that's going to be the start of my diorama all right how are you how was your week since i last saw you um i hope you're doing well if not get with it snap out of it um because i went out today for starbucks and it was chilly it was just like a little chilly and i was like <gasps> and part of me was like yeah i can't i love the heat but you guys, I love my clothes. <laughs> this sounds stupid and superficial. I, every time, so I'm from LA. Uh, when I was a kid, it was the same weather every single day. I had a leather jacket. I know it's changed because of global warming, but when I was a kid, it was always 75, 80. Um, and, I'm, and I like fashion then too. And I had a leather jacket that I would wear and sweat like crazy, but I was like, I don't care. Um, so my love for clothes and fashion really does well here in New York because we have seasons, right? So every, every season we put away our clothes and then we bring out the other clothes and I'm always enamored. I'm like, hi, leather jacket, hi, satin jacket. It's just a fun thing, you guys. Listen, sometimes being superficial really <laughs> goes a long way. All right, look at this. So I'm gonna start um, putting flowers. And the cool thing about this is that it has depth. It has about an inch and a half, perhaps. So if you want, you can create a really, you know, you can elevate this by putting it um, a few centimeters above. So it really creates a diorama. And maybe I'll do that. I don't know if I'll have time. Uh, so let's start doing this. Okay. So going back to the whole darkness thing, I, I address it, but I don't, necessarily feel the need to talk about it or explain myself um, because I don't need to relive it you know um, I think sometimes our traumas own us and, and create our personality instead of them being um, instead of moving forward I don't know so my mother had a my mother was a tough person or is a tough person and she, a lot of people would always ask her why are you such a and her response was always because the world made me a bitch and i you know i was like okay well that's cool um but you know as you get older you realize wow yeah uh, sometimes no matter what you do if the world knocks you around and, and you don't have the wherewithal to to overcome it yeah the world can create you can make you into a monster right i'm super happy and jolly and and positive but if this country starts persecuting gay people queer people trans people at the rate that it's going maybe i don't become a peacemaker maybe i'm i become a monster right and that's possible in all of us i know that that's not who i am that's not who i would be but we're human so so be careful 
protect yourself is all I'm saying. All right, check this out. Oh, how beautiful. Um, so that so that's that's an, an ad addressing a little bit of the darkness and where all that comes from. Um, and I know you get it. If you're here, I know you get it. And I send you peace and love and lots of carnations. I think these are carnations. Today, I was, when we were out on our walk to Starbucks, um, I saw a chair. <laughs> and if you are uh, aware of our members, we have an artist in our community, Terry Garrett, who uses a lot of chairs in his, um, in his work. And I, and I instantly thought of Terry. And the cool thing is that now, wherever I go and I see a chair, just out of context, I'll always think of Terry. And, um, and you know, the world seems smaller, right? And familiar. All right, I need some cardboard, you guys. I'm gonna make that elevated. How am I gonna do that? You know I have cardboard everywhere. Do, 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 do. I do not have cardboard everywhere. Maybe I do. Bear with me. This is all in real time, my friends. Real time. Ah. You hear that? I'm literally <laughs> just went into a box, massacred a box in my closet for this. That's what you do. We're resourceful people. Oh my, yes. Look at that. Okay, so if you see what I'm doing, I'm just cutting these little squares. Now there's a better way of doing this, you guys. You can look it up. I'm not the one. I do not believe in perfection. I just believe in results. So I am going to stack these up, still using my reliable squares. And, uh, and create that depth right? And maybe I can make it even bigger. So if you are in New York, uh, when this airs on a Thursday, the next day, I will be at Poster House here in New York City on 23rd Street. I am doing a collage workshop. So if you're around, and if you see this in time, stop by. I had said it was free, but it, it isn't. It's actually $10. Um, I had misunderstood because the event, the day, the admission is free that day. So if you're around, you can get into the museum for free, but if you want to get into my class, it's $10. Uh, but, 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 um, if you DM me, I can put you on my VIP list. Uh, all right, so you let me know. I know it'll, it's short notice, but that's how we work around here, you guys. Okay, check this out. So I made it, what, one, two, three, four, uh, four levels, four layers, and now I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna put this there. And look at that already, how beautiful. I can't see it. I know you can see it better than I can at this point, but I am very happy with it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yes. Cool. Okay, the other thing I had was this, right? This is so beautiful. <sighs> I should have put it in the back, but I can still do that. Um, okay. So the cool thing about giving you something like this is that you can use this to draw to make your own shape so i'm gonna maybe i'll make some clouds some black beautiful clouds um you know that i live very high up in a skyscraper i live on the 38th floor and it is the most beautiful thing to watch the clouds come in and when it rains it's magic the thunder the lightning oh you guys get up here um but i also spend so much time cloud gazing. I remember going to Canada and my friend had a Tesla and the Teslas tend to have a, a their roof goes really back, kind of like <laughs> a, a hairline. Um, and the whole trip, which was about like, what, 10 hours? I was just cloud gazing uh, and it was so beautiful. The things I saw, the things that came forth Oh, it was beautiful. Um, so let me try to see if I can create some of that. I usually see animals and people. Yesterday I saw a floating body with flowers. Um, okay, see that you don't have to try too hard. It doesn't really read as a cloud, so I'm not particularly happy about that. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? I 
can put that there. Put this here. Oh, you guys, what? Yes, that's very cool, okay. So the cool thing about this, as I'm doing this, I'm not really thinking, I'm just making with the things that I have. If you wanna be super deliberate, think about your summer, right? So this summer I traveled, um, so maybe I traveled to a port city, so maybe I can think about water. Actually, yeah, look, this kind of looks like water. Come to think of it. See, you, it always it always comes on. It always it always make your life always makes it into your art. You just have to look, right? So as I'm saying, oh, I should add water. This all of a sudden became water, right? And water at night. Ugh, so beautiful. <gasps> and what illuminates the water at night? The moon. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Okay, I have to go with that. Look at that. That's beautiful. And you know who's gonna go in there, right? That dandy. That beautiful dandy who is gonna be me. I am that guy. It's the best thing when you can see, find reflection of yourself and others, right? Uh, because we are one. We are one, but especially as we get older, as we get. Um, As we feel that separation, when you see someone who's doing something that you want to do, if you feel connected, you don't feel that jealousy. You don't feel that envy. Quite the opposite. You feel like, wow, they're experiencing it and I can experience it through them, right? Okay. So this is my friend here and I want to figure out how to use the image the best. Um, God, he's so cool. Okay. Actually, this is exactly what I used to dress like in LA when it was like 80 degrees. I'm like, I don't care. I want my black leather trench coat. How fun. So when I'm 80, I'm going to be looking at people like this and be like, yeah, I'm still, well, when I'm 80, I'm probably still going to be doing standing on the street corner <laughs> with flowers. Um, okay. Look at this. Okay, I am excited about this. So if you're not a member, become a member. But if you're not a member, go get yourself a box. It could be any size and do this and share. I wanna see what you do. I wanna see how you're bottling up your summer. Um, and listen, this is still early days because it's um, fireworks, right? I still need to put in my fireworks. Oh, 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 oh. You guys, where are we? where does he fit? Oh, oh, found it. In front of the moon. So check this out. I'm just gonna create a moment here where it kind of stares. So I have an idea. Now, like I said, what makes, what really sets off the collage, I'm already sending you stuff, right? But what really sets it off is when you bring your own material. And I just remembered something that I bought in Mexico that I'm gonna put in here to finish it off. Look at that. Ah, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave again. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get what I just remembered that I had that I got in Mexico. And again, go. Do you do the same? Go go find your material and see what happens. All right, give me give me three seconds. No, well, maybe six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Look what I bought in Mexico. Bam. Little jewels. Little jewels, you guys. So guess what this is gonna be? This is gonna be my fireworks. So you can you can make these, right? Like, it doesn't have to be plastic. It doesn't have to be anything. Look, this can be this, right? I happen to have this, so I'm gonna use this. We gotta use what we got. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be precious, you guys. So this is the fireworks for my summer. Uh, and odd, cool enough, when I was in Mexico, there was fireworks pretty much every night uh, from a ship, from a pirate ship. So true to form. I just wanna close it to see what it's gonna look like so far. Yes, look at that. Oh man, that's so cool. Listen, this is not your kids. 
art project. You can make it that, you can make this, totally do this with your kids, but this is all adult. This is all real magic, you guys. Uh, because what I'm doing here is I'm creating an alternate universe that I will visit often or as needed. Oh, woof. yes. So if you do this, please, 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 please share, show me, tag me, email me. I'm slow with email, but I do reply. Um, there's an email that I haven't replied to that I'm thinking about, and I hope you're watching this. Uh, we were talking about creating worlds and you had created a, a business with your friends. Oh, I love that email. Uh, thank you for sharing, and I'll, I will get back to you, I promise. Uh, Yes, look at this. Do you see this craziness? And how fun that the background is this postcard that kind of can represent history, can represent the past, right? Oh, this is too much, I love it. So it's kind of like splaying out. So before I finish, check this video out by art star uh, Virgil Suarez, who's um, one of our founding members. This is really special, check it out. Virgil, that was amazing. I love that music. And you didn't speak. You're a mystery. You're a po he's a poet, actually. So actually, he has some amazing books on Amazon. I'll put the link and be sure to check out his work. Follow his uh, collage work, his painting work. Um, hashtag Artstar. Thank you, Virgil. Um, let's continue. I'm almost done here, I promise. Look at this. All right, so I'm just gonna, you know, don't be afraid to go ham. It's fun to go ham, meaning just go all over. Don't hold back. Um, what if I, can I, oh, look at that on the moon. So just be careful when you're using stuff like this because if it gets heavy and you don't have enough um, glue, it'll buckle, right? You don't want it to buckle. Quite the opposite. Oh. I like how it's over the moon. Last night we had the sturgeon moon. It was beautiful, it was huge and, and vibrant. I always took out the telescope and we can see it so clear. Um, I wish I knew the names or the anatomy of the moon. You know that little nubbin in the bottom? What is that called? Does anybody know? Okay. I think I'm done. And you know what? The summer is not over. So if you want to stop short and fill it in at the end of the summer with some with 
because there's more to come, right? So don't be afraid to do that. Always leave room for more. Okay, so this is my fireworks diorama. Let's see what it looks like. So be sure to fold this so it just works better. This is so cool. All right, I'm super excited about this. Let's take a look at this. Make room, make room. Coming through. All right, so this is my diorama with the box in my collage kit. Uh, again, when you get your collage kit, what really sets it off is when you bring your stuff and mix it up with the stuff you get and just create something completely new. This was a box and I asked you to create a diorama. Hashtag fireworks and summer, right? And this is what I created. So this is my preserve. This is my jelly, my dessert for the winter. Uh, I got to travel and I went to the beach. It was a port city. And the most stunning thing about the whole thing was fireworks and the ocean, the ocean, the sound, the smell, and how it shines, shone, shined, uh, from with the moonlight at night, right? And I captured that. I didn't intend to, but it kind of came out. Um, and I found this dandy that, yeah, men with flowers, it's a thing, I love it. Uh, and he seems really, really cool. And uh, yeah, this is my collage. I am kind of in awe of this. I really, really love this. So I hope, you can create something that you really, really love and are proud of and, and can share it with us. All right, this is, did you see me do this? <laughs> I feel like a dad. Um, all right, you can do it, kid. Uh, this is Luis Martin, the art engineer, uh, reminding you that what you do matters. And keep in mind, we only have four more uh, prompts coming up. So enjoy, have fun, and I will see you here, there, and everywhere you take your phone. Cheers.